Greetings humans, Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of Guardians of the Galaxy. Just came out episode 3 last week. Let's jump right into it. There's always a little recap at the beginning of every episode. It's definitely been fun so far. Just modulating my volume down a little bit there. Hopefully that's a bit better. Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. His other girlfriend. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought... Maybe he does, too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, mm -hmm. she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Is our mom the... tomb guardian? <laughs> I don't know. This game does adapt to the choices you make, and the story is tailored by how you play. You're nearly there, Peter. into the past. Oh, the video game store. I remember these. Yeah, in the 80s. Me and Star-Lord are probably about the same age. I got age. it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. <coughs> I better hurry back then. Right. Game testers job soon. of your dreams. So, uh, I've probably mentioned this before, maybe not in this video, but I've worked extensively in video game testing for about 12 years. I'm going to bring all this down because it looks pretty hot on the board. Hopefully hey, that's a little better. Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copy? Pinkle. Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? <sighs> um, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. So he's duping mixtapes for him? Hey, Petey! You make that mix uh -oh. for your boyfriend? <laughs> What's the matter? Too scared to talk? Huh?
Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls! Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't hey, star have owner. money. Everyone in town we'll star owner. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been That's going door nice. to door asking for help, like some pathetic wow. loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Come on, let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking nice. with the doctor. Told him everything. Oh, Guess she man. didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out. Dead woman walking. What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. My mom's gonna be fine. She just needs the right medicine. Get her some poison. At least then she won't be wasting money trying to get better. Wow, this kid. Oh! Mom! Dad. My dad's gonna... Out! Wow, Mom. Wow. You kept your promise. She's straight up. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. Yeah, I knew you were gonna slap him. The things he said. I let my emotions yeah. get the better of me. You slapped him? That was awesome. No, that was not awesome, Peter. He said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. Wow. That's pretty heavy. What the? How did I get home? Are we in Earth now? Does look like Colorado. Gamora? Gamora? <laughs> Gamora? Gamora! What's up, girl? Alright, yeah, left stick. Here I'm going. Hey. <laughs> Saw my mom again. She said I'm close. This temple is really messing with my head. <laughs> Hello, Gamora. <laughs> oh, hey, Gamora. Come on, oh. Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. She's hallucinating. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. <laughs> Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword! Wow. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Wait! Kimura! Focus, Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. I know you think you want this, but once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill. Again and again and...
Pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. Just a little? greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> well, she does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet you were disarmed so easily. Perhaps Nebula no longer requires your tutelage. Uh oh. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Creepy dad. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold. Distant. Forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. Why? Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Why just Go easily and lost prepare through that fight? Head out immediately. <laughs> And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula wow, I wish dude. to speak with her. <sighs> He's definitely the worst father. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but father, he didn't look happy. Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have let her in. I don't know. I don't know if all that would have happened. That's pretty. I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let father down. Let's just do this. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Those are cool looking aliens. We are silent. I can't tell whether they're biomechanical or kindness. Oh, I 
miss the Y. Oh, interesting. Maybe my Y button is going bad. That actually happened to my last one. My uh, left one bumper has started to go bad. It definitely went bad on my previous one. I'll just go ahead and mash multiple times. There we go. See the X on the screen there. Oops. Okay, I think it's A and then A. And then a. There you are. And the one I missed coming up is X. Move. I'm your Y. Yeah, I didn't even see that one. Right trigger. Right trigger. Got it. Wow. Nebula. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? No. Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! My father will be so upset with me. You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. If she thinks she's gonna get killed. Whoa. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Family drama, for sure. <laughs> you slapped me. But I will never, ever do that again. I swear to any space god you want. See that you don't. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. I saw what happened. 
You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos, despite everything, we had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. I know you, Gamora. And I know you tried your absolute best to protect her. Nebula can't see that? Then that's her problem. Not yours. Is it? Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. Why? She, she is trust Thanos' us? daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? You didn't betray her. I failed her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? And I respect the hell out of you for that. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? Hell yeah, you do. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Hmm. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Gamora, seriously? Yeah, she can help us in this. Help us not get too crazy and original. Do you recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom lived. This is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family, your real family. I know how much she means to you.
Space Temple. Pretty cool looking. Oh yes, the space sarcophagus. There's mom. For reals. so painful. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Now that you are here, not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... you came for me. After all these... Ooh, what are these? They're very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. I came here expecting to find my mom. I am called Mantis, and I can explain. Borrow that. <laughs> You're gone. It will only be for a moment. Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one. in there <sighs> thank you uh, you're welcome it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb no longer trapped in my own mind alone you are truly the hero the legends foretold so brave and handsome Though, perhaps not in the classical sense. What? <laughs> you must have many questions for me. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... <gasps> You like my abilities. Most people run away from me. There's still time. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again, do it again, come on. <laughs> With great pleasure. Oh, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> Guardians. Oh, let's think some dirty thoughts. Oh. Uh, what emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. <laughs> Sexual. You see, <laughs> I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah, 
Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who uh, should we try okay. on first? Um... I got just the one. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Mantis, eh? I haven't seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy something's too. Something's supposed to be happening here? This furry little creature is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he's scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an <laughs> empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna <sighs> roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. And that's gonna be a great place to end this episode. I hope you're having some fun. And I do hope you join me next time. Uh, it helps out a lot when you like the videos that you watch. Subscribe to the channel and share with a friend. Uh, yeah, and join me next time. That's going to be all for now. Spinning Mantis out. Namaste.